Officer James Poole was giving an interview about his role with the Columbus police when he was surprised by Chris Jones, a man he saved from drowning 19 years ago. Now 24, Jones burst into tears upon seeing Poole, who rescued him from a hotel pool when he was just five. Our primary goal... How are you doing, sir? How are you? Good. Remember good. me? No, I don't, sir. About 1997. Oh my god, are you serious? Out of a swimming pool? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's awesome, man. Because of you, I'm still here. Because of you, this five year old little girl right here still is here. You know what? I'm just doing my job, man. Awesome. I appreciate you, man. I'll be you can imagine. 19 years I've been waiting for this moment. Wow. <laughs> Social media sometimes Social can media re reconnect. It's good this time. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you look awesome, man. A heartwarming moment as this little kid surprises the cop with an unexpected hug, showing pure innocence and kindness. A college student thought he was in trouble when Officer Martin Foltzek pulled him over for speeding. Trevor Keeney, a University of Wisconsin Stout student, explained he was late for a presentation and couldn't tie his tie. Instead of a ticket, the officer helped him by showing how to tie it, and then they both went on their way. I mean, after I get a tie tied and have a presentation and thought my buddy was home, but he's not, and I'm running behind ice. Okay, so, yeah, I was wondering why you looped down yeah, the street and yeah, back up the house that then, that's one of my good friend's house and knows how to tie ties and I honestly don't know how to. Where's the tie? Well, while I do this, why don't you grab your proof of insurance and your driver's license quick. There, you should be able to adjust it. Okay, thank you. I'm actually going home right after class after the presentation. You're... Sometimes all it takes is a moment of compassion. This officer saw past the badge and hugged someone going through a tough time, showing that kindness can make all the difference. You just gotta, it sucks. <laughs> can but, I hug? Sure. I need a hug. Can sure. I hug, please? Yeah. I don't mean to bother you, but I'm sorry. No, you're good, man. Excuse me, sir, is that an open container you got there? Yeah? Drive away with it. <laughs> oh, he's got two. <laughs> Thank you. At first, the police pulled him over for speeding, but soon they found themselves racing to save an unconscious child's life. This heartwarming moment shows a compassionate cop reassuring a little boy that he's loved, reminding us all of the power of kindness. You're not in trouble, man. You have a. Your family's worried about you, buddy. No, they don't. They love you very much. That's why they wanted. They called us to help find you because they're worried about you. Who do you live with? I think she's on her way to come get you. Okay. I know, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. My sister gets mad at me sometimes. You know, she's got to talk about it with him. You work it out, you know? Or else it's not going to go away, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs a break now and then. Come on, man. We're not going to arrest you. You're not in trouble. It, it kind of broke my heart for a second because he, he said it with, you know, with Jack such a... joins up with Florida cops to bring joy and surprise to kids at a neighborhood basketball game. Huh? You guys ready? Yeah. Can you bring your good game? Yeah. Are you sure you can take them? 
So you're pretty sure you can take these guys, right? Well, I brought some other backups for y'all. I brought y'all some backups. In this heartwarming video, we see a police officer pull over a man who is clearly emotional, tearing up during the stop. As it turns out, the man had been going through a rough week, and the weight of everything just hit him in that moment. You okay? It's just a traffic stop, my man. I don't want to be that sorry. I'm sorry? I don't want to be that sorry. It's all right. Take you home at all. We'll talk a bit. You got a motorcycle endorsement? Then you're not going to get a ticket. Let's take that out of your mind, okay? We'll take your helmet off. Okay, we'll take your helmet off for a second. Does he own a bike? Where at? Where's your outside? Yeah, take your helmet off so you can breathe, man. I'm glad I stopped you if you're emotional like that. When you get a chance to talk to people, you know, that can help you. You really can, because I, I don't want to see anybody down on a motorcycle. Are you the first to know you have to talk to Oh, that's cool, man. You know, I, it's not all about tickets and arresting people and dumb stuff like that. All right? If somebody needs help or needs to talk, I'll tell you what. You know, I do a lot of funerals as a motorcycle deputy. And uh, I just had our peer support group come out and talk to all my deputies for the same thing, you know, because it's emotional. And, you know, you start weighing on it, and I'm sure you're thinking about it as you're riding this bike, which, which isn't good. Maybe I could have saved your life today, because, you know, when you're on these things, you got to be focused, laser focused. Well, that's my personal self. Huh? Okay, so <laughs> the DoorDash driver got... We have officers Great. delivering thank our DoorDash, so thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. All right. <laughs> That's okay. Unfortunate for the driver, but thank you so much. This is so wholesome, guys. Appreciate you. In a heart-stopping moment, a police officer pulled over a speeding car, only to find the mother-to-be in labor, leading to an unexpected and dramatic delivery in the back seat. This incredible story highlights the urgency of the situation and the officer's quick thinking, turning a routine traffic stop into a life-changing event. Police K-9 diagnosed with cancer gets saluted by her entire team in her final walkout. In a heartfelt moment, this cop unboxes a thoughtful gift, a stuffed canine resembling his beloved partner who passed away, bringing a wave of nostalgia and emotion. You can't cry, because I'm going to cry if you do.
the entire city of police force comes out in numbers to support these little girls. This officer takes the time to give away skateboards to local kids, fostering joy and promoting active lifestyles. It's a wonderful reminder of how small gestures can make a big impact in creating positive relationships between law enforcement and the community. What size skateboard? Uh, I think like seven, three. I think the smallest one I have is an eight, but. Here's some sunglasses. Oh, Here's a watch. Yeah, I've got a bunch of gear for you guys. Let's see. It's an 825, There's two 80s, but I need you to get the other one. Yeah, for sure. I guess 